Have you ever experienced the pain of someone you really care about not paying attention to you? It's like they don't care about your feelings and treat you like you don't matter. They never seem to think about your needs, even if you love and care for them a lot. But what if there was a way to change this, to make them want to value and put you first? In this video, we'll reveal 10 important rules to become someone who's really interesting and who others really want to be around. Each rule we talk about is very important and we suggest you watch the whole video to see why each one is vital for improving your relationships. Now, let's get started. Rule 1. Keep some things to yourself and be a bit mysterious. The idea of not knowing everything about you is attractive and this mystery can make you powerful. As Seneca said, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. Take this as your guidance. Be present, but also keep a sense of mystery, like a book with some hidden chapters. Let others discover more about you slowly, in a thoughtful way. Share pieces of your life over time, letting them become interested and curious about you. This way, your personality becomes like a puzzle they want to solve making them even more excited to explore your character. Think about Cleopatra, the famous historical person. She wasn't just attractive and powerful, she was also mysterious. She kept her thoughts and reasons hidden, making people very curious about her. If you want to get people's attention be surprising, like taking a different path through new and unfamiliar areas. This will draw them in and make them want to understand you better. Don't reveal everything about yourself right away. Let them explore and be a part of your journey. In simple terms, don't show everything about your life to everyone. Instead, think of your life like a book with many chapters. Each chapter shows a bit more about the interesting person you are. By keeping some things mysterious, you become more attractive and others will want to know more about you. Here's the second rule. Make people afraid of losing you. People often don't appreciate what's easy to get, but they care more when there's a chance of losing it. Imagine yourself as someone they can't replace, and if you were gone, they'd miss you a lot. You're not just one of many options, you're very important to them. How can you make them feel that way? by being independent and able to take care of yourself. Your life is interesting and fulfilling all on its own, even without them in it. This makes them want to be a part of your life because they see it as a special opportunity, not something they expect. This idea is similar to a philosophy that says you can control your thinking even if you can't control everything else around you. Understand this and you'll feel stronger. Your power comes from being independent and having an interesting life. People will see you as someone important, not just another person seeking their attention. They'll make an effort to keep you in their life. You don't need to chase or beg for their attention. They should be the ones trying to get your attention. So make them a bit worried about losing you. Let them actively want to be a part of your life and see you as something valuable. Let's look at how Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak worked together at the start of Apple as an example. Wozniak was really good at engineering and played a big role in making the first Apple computers. His technical skills and creative ideas helped Apple succeed early on. Jobs saw how special Wozniak's talents were and how important he was to their project. Jobs didn't just work with Wozniak, but he also helped and highlighted Wozniak's work. In their teamwork, Wozniak was not just a partner, he was really important. If he wasn't there, it would have been a big problem for Jobs and Apple. This shows how vital it is to notice and appreciate what each person brings to the team, making yourself someone they can't replace in any group project. Third rule make your own happiness. This means believing that real happiness comes from inside you. It's about being confident and independent, which naturally makes you more attractive. 
Instead of depending on others to make you happy, you find fulfillment on your own. Being confident and happy on your own makes you more attractive. People are naturally attractive to those who are positive and sure of themselves. When you find joy inside yourself, you become like a shining light that inspires others. When you make your own happiness, it shows that you're not looking for someone else to make you feel complete. You're already a happy and complete person on your own. This is attractive because it doesn't make others responsible for your happiness. Instead, you want to share the happiness you have with others and make their lives better. This makes your presence very attractive, shining with positivity and confidence that naturally attract people to you. Seneca once said, True happiness is when you enjoy the present and don't worry too much about the future. This means you can make yourself happy. Think about Theodore Roosevelt, even if he had a lot of problems, like losing his wife and mother on the same day, he knew how to make himself happy. He lived a strong and active life, doing things like boxing and helping others. His happiness and energy came from inside, not from what others think. This made him a popular leader. He could be happy and find meaning in himself, even when things were tough. That's why he's an impressive historical figure, showing how strong it is to make your own happiness. Fourth rule, make yourself valuable and let others invest in you. Know that you're special, like a precious gem that others should want to have. Your worth isn't just about being around, it's about being an important and intentional part of someone's life. Remember, when something is easy to get, it's not always appreciated. Real appreciation comes from putting in effort and being committed. As people spend their time, emotions and energy on you, their connection to you becomes stronger. You change from being someone they barely liked to becoming someone they really care about. Your job isn't to beg for their attention or love. Instead, it's to prove that you bring something valuable to their life something worth their genuine interest. Let them choose to invest in you so your presence becomes a valued part of their life and they wouldn't want to let you go. Seneca said, to make a precious stone shine, you have to rub it and to make a person better, they need to face difficulties. This shows how your worth isn't just about existing, but about being wanted and working to improve. Think about the story of Alexander the Great and his teacher, Aristotle. Aristotle was not just any teacher to the young prince. He was like a bright light of knowledge and smart thinking, which was really important for ruling an empire. Alexander, who was known for being very ambitious and smart, understood how valuable Aristotle's teachings were. He spent a lot of time and effort learning from him, it wasn't a regular student-teacher relationship. It was close relationship where the student saw the teacher as a really important resource, like a treasure chest of wisdom. Aristotle didn't make it easy for Alexander to learn. He made it a challenging journey to gain wisdom. And that's what made Aristotle's teachings so important for Alexander's greatness. Rule five. Don't make someone the most important thing in your life. Remember, your life shouldn't be all about just one person. Think of yourself like a bright star in the sky, shining with your own light and energy. You have your own path, separate from theirs. Don't let everything in your life revolve around them. You have your own dreams, goals, and who you are as a person. This way of thinking makes you more interesting and it keeps them curious about your life and what make them more excited. Your independence and sense of adventure make the relationship more interesting. It's about making each other's lives better while staying true to yourself. When you don't put them at the center of your world, you become even more attractive. Living a life outside the limits of the relationship helps you keep growing and adds excitement and freedom to your partnership. Think about what Marcus Aurelius, the wise ruler and philosopher, once said, if you're at peace with yourself, 
you're in harmony with the world. This quote connects with the idea of staying independent in relationships. Let's look at someone from history, like Sir Isaac Newton, a brilliant scientist who changed how we understand the universe. Even with his hard work and a lot of demands on him, he had a rich personal life with hobbies, friends, and his own interests. He could balance his work success with having a strong personal identity. This made him not just an amazing scientist, but also a well-rounded person. People admired him not only for his smarts, but also for his independence. This mix of being independent in your personal life and dedicated in your work is a great example of how it can lead to a more satisfying and balanced life. Rule number six, make sure your needs come first. This rule says it's super important to think about what you need and how you feel in any relationship. You should always know your own worth and avoid being in situations where you're not valued or treated well. You understand how important you are and you won't accept anything less than what you deserve. Your happiness and feeling good about yourself should never be something you give up, especially not for someone who doesn't treat you right. When you put yourself and your happiness first, you're showing that you won't let anyone make you feel small or less important. In any relationship, you are equal and your feelings matter a lot. You're not here to be pushed aside or seek approval from others. Your aim is to have good, respectful relationships that are based on respecting yourself. When you stand up for yourself, you become more influential in anyone's life. Basically, this rule reminds you that your happiness and self-respect are super important and should always be your main focus. It's about putting your own dreams and interests at the top of your list. To put it in simpler words, like Marcus Aurelius once said, what really bothers people are not the things that happen, but how they think about them. This quote connects with rule number six, because it shows how important it is to think about and handle situations in relationships. Think about the story of Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus, a Roman leader. He was famous for being really good at both the military and politics. But what made him even more famous was how he always stuck to his own values and self-respect. Even when people tried to convince him to do things for power, he always chose to stick to what he believed in. When he wasn't needed for his leadership, he went back to his simple farm instead of getting caught up in the fancy stuff of politics. He stayed away from people who didn't respect his values. His story shows how important it is to put your own needs and values first. And it's a great example of how having self-respect and taking care of yourself is crucial in all parts of life. Rule number seven, don't always be ready and waiting. The rarest and most special things aren't everywhere and your availability shouldn't be either. Understand that your time is valuable and you shouldn't give it away freely to anyone who asks. Put your own life first. Imagine a life where you're not always waiting around. It's a situation where your entire life doesn't focus on meeting the expectations or desires of others. You have your own life to live and explore, and the people who get to be part of it should feel lucky. It's important to find balance and not always be ready to drop everything for others. Show that your time and attention are important. People are attracted to those who have their own interests and plans. When it's obvious that you're not just waiting around, it makes them curious. They start thinking about what you're up to, and it creates a sense of wanting to be with you. Being available all the time makes it seem like they can have you whenever they want. But remember, you're not just anyone, you're a valuable person. This isn't about playing games, it's about showing that you have an exciting life with or without them. By not always being ready to drop everything for them, they learn to appreciate the time they get to spend with you. Avoid the urge to be constantly accessible. Think about what Seneca said. We often get scared for no reason, and we suffer more because we imagine things 
than from what actually happens. This means it's important to value your own time and what you think, rather than being afraid of missing out or always being available to others. Now, let's look at Ada Lovelace, a really smart and creative woman. She was a mathematician and writer, and she's famous for being one of the first computer programmers. Even if she lived in a time when society expected women to have limited roles and always be available to others, Ada didn't follow those rules. Instead, she focused on her work, diving into complex math and working with famous people like Charles Babbage. Her dedication to her own projects and her decision not to always be available made her even more interesting and attractive. Ada's story shows that it's powerful to be your own person and how it can draw people to you. She didn't wait around for others. She made her own path and fascinated those around her with her intense passion and intelligence. Rule number eight, don't always be the one to start the conversation. This rule is about finding a balance in how you communicate in any relationship. It means realizing that it's not always a good thing to be the one who starts conversations all the time. Letting the other person take the lead sometimes is important. This approach shows that you have a life with other interests and activities, and it also helps you see if they are interested in you too. Always being the one to start conversations might make you seem too available. This isn't about playing games. It's about making sure there's mutual respect and effort in the relationship. Think about what Marcus Aurelius once said. The best way to get back at someone who did you wrong is to not act like them. In the context of communication, this means not copying behaviors that can create an imbalance or make you feel as if people don't appreciate you. It's about keeping your self-respect and not constantly seeking attention or approval. Rule number nine, don't get too attached emotionally. This rule is about finding the right balance of emotions in your journey to become important to someone. It means making sure your emotions don't take over the relationship and that your needs are not only heard, but also respected. It's about finding the right mix between sharing your feelings and staying calm. Even if emotions are a big part of who we are, showing them too much can sometimes make us seem less valuable. In the words of Seneca, the best way to deal with anger is to wait. This quote is the heart of rule number nine. It's about being patient and controlling our emotional reactions. Rule number 10, be willing to walk away from a relationship that doesn't treat you well. This rule is all about understanding your own worth and not letting anyone disrespect you. You need to set clear rules about how you want to be treated in any relationship. When those rules are consistently ignored, you have to be brave enough to move on, even if you have strong feelings. This isn't being mean, it's taking care of yourself. It shows that you respect yourself and won't let someone treat you badly. By being ready to leave, you send a strong message that the situation is serious. This might make the other person realize they need to treat you better if they want to keep you in their life. Your aim isn't to hold on to relationships that don't make you happy and confident. Instead, it's about building healthy relationships based on mutual respect. Sometimes that means having the strength to walk away when it's necessary. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, you can control your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This means you have the power to control your inner strength and self-respect, even when things in your external relationships aren't going well. We've talked about 10 important ways to make yourself unforgettable to others. These include keeping some mystery, not always being available, letting others invest in you, and putting your own needs first. You need to find the right balance in how you communicate and not make your whole life about someone else. Taking care of your own happiness and emotional well-being makes you more attractive. Remember, it's crucial to value yourself 
and be ready to leave relationships that don't treat you well. This isn't about seeking attention. It's about building healthy and respectful relationships. By following these principles, you become someone that others naturally want to value. If you ever feel like you're just an option, remember that you have the power to make choices in your life, including the choice to walk away. Your worth is very high, and you deserve people who recognize and respect that. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to join a community that values wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. Share how you'll use these stoic lessons in your life in the comments. Together, we're more than a channel. We're a community of purpose and respect. Don't miss out. Be a part of our journey to living with intention. Until next time.